Our objectives in this lesson are the following. Distinguish between descriptive and inferential statistics and distinguish between a sample statistic and a population parameter. Let's have a quick review of our previous lesson. Identify the sampling technique used. You want to estimate the average achievement in math of grade 11 public school students in your province. Letter A. Five schools were randomly selected and all grade 11 students in those schools were tested. This is cluster random sampling. Letter B. Grade 11 students from different schools were tested. The number is based on different schools' population. This is stratified random sampling. And letter C. All grade 11 students were listed and every 100 students were tested. This is systematic random sampling. Let us define a statistics. It is the science of collecting, presenting, analyzing, and interpreting data. We have two types of statistics. The first one is descriptive statistics. Describes the characteristics and properties of a group under investigation. Meaning, you already have the data, you just have to describe it. And another one is inferential statistics. Methods of making inferences and drawing conclusions about the characteristic of a larger group by studying small representatives. Meaning, you are going to make prediction or inferences based on the data that you already have. Let's have an activity, descriptive or inferential. Number one, Jordan wants to find out his shooting average for the past 10 games. Notice the word past here. This means the data is already available. We just want to make calculations to determine or describe the shooting average of Jordan. This is descriptive statistics. Number two, a manager would like to predict, based on previous year's sales, the sales performance of a company for the next five years. See the word predict? This means you are going to make inferences or conclusions for the future. This is inferential statistics. Number three, a politician would like to estimate, based on an opinion poll, his chance for winning in the upcoming senatorial election. Here we have two key words, estimate and upcoming. Both pertains into something in the future, making predictions. This is inferential statistics. Let's have some more. A teacher wishes to determine the percentage of students who passed the summative test. Past, meaning it's already done. The teacher simply wants to know the percentage of students who passed. This is descriptive statistics. Another one, a market vendor wants to make an inference on how many kilos of mangoes will she sell based on her sales last week. So it says here, inference. So this is inferential statistics. And last one, a valuable player wants to estimate her chance of winning the Most Valuable Player Award based on her current season averages and averages of her opponents. Estimate the chance of winning. This is something in the future. So this is inferential statistics. Let us define some terms. Population or universe is the totality of objects, individuals, or events under study or investigations. We have two types of population, finite and infinite. Just to give you an idea, finite, example, fishes in an aquarium. You can count them. Infinite, fishes in the ocean. You cannot count them. Another one, sample, a subset of the population. Parameter and statistic, I have already mentioned this in our previous lesson. Parameter is a numerical value that describes the characteristics of a population, while a statistic is a numerical value that describes the characteristics of a sample. Let's have another activity, this time parameter or a statistic. Number one, 
10% of Philippine senators voted for a particular amendment. There are only 24 Philippine senators. You can count what every single one of them voted. Since you can determine the data for the whole population, you can count what every single one of them voted. Your population here is 24 Philippine senators. Since you can gather the data for the whole population, then this is parameter. Number two, 35% of 950 students at a particular elementary school got below 15 on a standardized test. You know this because you have each and every student's test score. Once again, you have the data for the whole population. You have each and every student's test score. So that is the population. Therefore, this is also parameter. Another one, 75% of Filipinos agree with the latest healthcare proposal. It's not possible to actually ask hundreds of millions of Filipinos whether they agree. Researchers have to take samples. It says here, researchers have to take samples. If you are dealing with samples, then this is a statistic. Last one, 75% of frontliners at a particular hospital were paid less than 50,000 pesos per year. You have the payroll data for all of the frontliners. Since you have the data for all frontliners, then you have the data of the population. So this is parameter. Let us do extra challenge. This time, let us identify the parameter and its statistic. Number one, a researcher wants to estimate the average amount of water consumed by male teachers of Madis in a day. From a simple random sample of 10 male teachers, the researcher obtains an average of 1.5 liters of water. So remember, when we say parameter, it pertains to the population. So what is something that tells about the population? This is the average amount of water consumed by all male teachers in Madis. And for a statistic, this is a numerical value that pertains about the sample. And what do we have here? It says here, average of 1.5 liters of water. And this was obtained from a simple random sample of 10 male teachers in Madis. Number two, you want to know the mean height of dogs in Barangay San Andres. From a simple random sample of 70 dogs, it was found out that the mean height is 21 inches. Once again, if it is parameter, it pertains to the population. And what we have here is mean height of dogs in Barangay San Andres. For the statistic, numerical value that pertains to the sample. And we have here mean height of 21 inches from simple random sample of 70 dogs. Number three. A researcher wants to find out the standard deviation of grade point averages of all graduating senior high school students in Rizal. He randomly selects 2,000 graduating senior high school students and found out that the standard deviation of the grade point averages is 3 points. So in our previous example, we are looking for the average or mean. This time we're looking for a standard deviation. So for the parameter that talks about the population, this is the standard deviation of grade point averages of all graduating senior high school students in Rizal. And for the a statistic, the result of the sample, we have here a standard deviation of the grade point average is 3 points from 2,000 graduating senior high school students in Rizal. Last one, ABC National High School has a population of approximately 3,000 students. A research question is, what proportion of these students is smoke regularly? A survey was administered to a sample of 1,500 ABC National High School students. 35% of the sampled students reported that they smoke regularly. How confident can we be 
that 35% is close to the actual proportion of all ABC National High School students who smoke. For our parameter, this will be proportion of students at ABC National High School who smoke regularly. And for our statistic, it will be 35%. So, sample proportion of 35% from the sample of 1,500 ABC National High School students who smoke regularly. So, we had an example for mean or average. We also have for standard deviation. And this time, we had proportion. For the summary, here are the things that we discussed in this lesson. Now, it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. Let us answer, let us identify the following if it is a parameter P or a statistic S. Number one, a survey last year shows that 34% of the children ages 10 to 13 were injured by firecrackers. Let me give you a technique. If it is a survey, then it means this is just a sample. So if this is a sample, then this is a statistic. Now you might ask me, Mom, what if it is a population? How would we know? Then the word is census, not survey. Number two, a simple random sampling was conducted and it was found out that the average number of children in a typical Filipino family is four. So there is a sampling method that was done. Then definitely, this is a statistic. Number three, the average age of all grade 11 MADIS students is 17 years old. So all, meaning the whole population, so this is parameter. And number four, the guidance counselor wants to determine reasons why students drop from classes. She uses stratified sampling in her research. Again, there was a sampling done, then this is just a sample, so this is a statistic. Gets? Our next lesson is computing parameter and a statistic.